Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. We're going to be talking about the number 23 and 24 today because we know the significance of numbers. And you know that numbers are one of my favorite things to talk about, Pisces. So yes, 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 yes. Your ruling planet is retrograde by right now, right? So you all know that. So a lot of masks are falling off. We talked about that one time before. But the number 23... It really intensifies the number five. The number five, we know, is means that it's a pivotal point in your life. So the number 23 is the number of life. It just means that you have a desire for freedom and you want to explore and enjoy life to the fullest. This is about living your best life, Pisces, not somebody else's best life, your best life, or the best life they think you should be living. This is your choice, your power to choose whatever life you want to live. Also, 23 means that your strength lies in your intelligence. It also means that you are ambitious, you're loyal, you're passionate, and you are courageous. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so we're going to get into the number 24 in a minute. But yeah, so we know wonderful things about Pisces. You all are very, very empathetic people. You all are, a lot of you all are artistic. Um, if you have not tapped into that side of yourself, I think you're going to love it. You know, to tap into that, you all are natural healers. You are selfless. Um, your sign is, your symbol is two fishes with swimming in the up, tied together with swimming in the opposite direction. You all are very compassionate. You are intuitive. You all are gentle. You're wise. And a lot of you all are very musical, right? Think of people like Erica Badu. Here's another um, Pisces. Queen Latifah is a Pisces. A lot of artists, um, a lot of ones that very, very well, Janae uh, Aiko is also, I think, is a Pisces. Uh, Tamar Braxton is a Pisces. Um, and I want you all to go do your own research on how talented these Pisces are. You all are extremely talented, gifted and talented people. It's a matter of putting your energy in the right, um, into the right things. You know, you don't want people to cause you to get moody or negative or lazy or even be an escapist at all, right? Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Pisces as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, and also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for my wonderful Pisces? Yes, love the Pisces. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. i tell you where Pisces lies in my chart. One day. Yes. Special place in my heart for Pisces. And I'll tell you why. One day. Very, very soon. All right, let's get to the cards and see what story this cards have to tell us. Because there's always a story in the cards. Always. Sometimes things come out that you don't even expect, but you know this is a general reading. If you want a personal one, please call me at 202-460-3205. All right, let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say. And put them out here so you can actually really see the cards. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh-huh. Nice. Very, very nice. A lot of you all are going through some pivotal, some like I said, pivotal point in your life. A lot of major changes. So I'm going to pick up these cards and show you each one. This is the lover's card. Yes, lover's card. We have the death and rebirth card. We have the wheel of fortune card that's happening for you right now. Or the wheel. This one says the wheel, but it's the wheel of fortune. Um, the fool card. New beginnings for a lot of people. We have the star card. Yes. We have the empress card. Yes. So let's pick up these two cards. The fool card and the star card. Both attached to the Aquarius, right? So the fool card and upright. So you're starting a new new. Also, we have the star card, which lets me know that you are healing. You know, some of you all may have been in a relationship with an Aquarius, but this is a new, fresh start from you with uh, you all because there's double Aquarius here. The full card is attached to the planet Uranus. And then we have the star card, uh, which is attached directly to the Aquarius. So again, some of you all may have been in a relationship with an Aquarius that ended. Now you feel reborn. You just feel refreshed and renewed. Like there's this sense of wow, I really have things that I need to offer the world and let me just go do it, right? Time and, and uh, karma is definitely on your side. I want you to go for Pisces because you deserve it. You really, really deserve it. Yes, the wheel of fortune. Yes, perfect timing. There are no coincidences, Pisces. So when things start working out for you, just know that you've been putting out good energy in the universe and this is your time for payback, good energy payback. 
Yeah. So, like I said, some of you all were in a relationship where you felt that, felt that this person was your twin flame, right? You felt like they were really your twin flame, but that relationship had to end, right? Had to end. And so now you have moved on. Yes. Look what you have to offer the world. There was some sensual awareness in that particular relationship. Maybe this, like I said, you felt like this person was your twin flame, but then you realize, you know what? We're better off apart than together. So when that relationship died, it needed to, it needs to stay there. No more going back to, you know, what you thought. Again, your ruling planet, Neptune, is retrograde right now. Some masks have fallen off. And you, you're forced. You're being forced to see how things really, really are. Yeah. So that was all good for you to end that relationship, Pisces, and move on into the next wonderful chapter of your life. Yes, Pisces. Yes, yes, yes. Loving, loving, loving this spread for you because you deserve the best, right? Like I said, Pisces, you all are very empathetic people. Like I said, you're empaths. You pick up on people's energy. But sometimes you have too much energy around you. It gets distorted. You don't really know who's who. You don't know what's what. But when you start to just kind of sort of remove some people from your space, then you start to see things clearly. So you start to see maybe that person wasn't my twin flame. You know, maybe they weren't. And life is so much better now. You know, maybe they weren't my twin flame. Maybe that's what I thought they were, but they're not. You know, and that is quite all right, Pisces. It really, really is okay. It's better than all right, actually. Let's see what else the cards have to say. Yeah, so somebody had a challenging lover. They had a lot of internal conflict. Um, yeah, so let's look at these. So there was some temptation. There was a lot of temptation going back and forth in this relationship. Maybe I should go back. Maybe I should stay. I don't really know. Maybe I should try this new relationship. But there was a lot of self-doubt because there was a lot of temptation, right? Until you decided, I'm just going to focus on me, me and my interests. I'm running towards my freedom, this bird representing freedom. I'm running towards my freedom, you know, and like I said, you feel so much better. Now you have tapped into your divine masculine energy, Pisces, because you're a divine feminine by default, right? You are a nurturer. Your energy is cyclic. So it, um, you are very magnetic. So yeah, the person Aquarius could have been attacked, um, very, very drawn to you and just feels like a magnet like you all were two magnets just sucked together however the way you came out of this is and this is what you got from the aquarius so when relationships end a lot of times people are like oh i don't know how i didn't see this i didn't see that it was meant for that person to be in your space so that your energy could draw something from them now you're a person who is more, much more direct you are def definitely clever you're meticulous you're realistic. You are more straightforward. You are no nonsense, right? That's how you came out of the relationship. No nonsense. Like I said, the person had a lot of internal conflict going on with them. Again, not your problem, right? This person could have had Aries, Leo, Sagittarius somewhere in their chart, um, but they had that fiery energy. So maybe they were a little short tempered with you. Maybe um, there was just this, you know, maybe they made empty promises, maybe whatever. But nevertheless, you are free from that relationship never to return again. And you're focusing on your good karma. I want you to stay there, Pisces. Yeah, you're even celebrating with friends now. Yeah, you're even celebrating with friends, feeling good about life, feeling, thinking about expansion, thinking about a new beginning. Yeah, there's nothing there. And again, the person may not have been a bad person, but they just weren't good for you, right? Mental dexterity. This is you. Um, keeping your head above water, you know, not only just keeping your head above water, but you had all these wonderful ideas, you know, you were, see this person right here walking a tightrope, mental dexterity, you were able to do multiple things very successfully at once, even in the midst of being in a challenging relationship with somebody. And so guess what, guess who you are, if you can do this in the midst of a challenging relationship, guess how more fantastic and on fire you're going to be outside of that relationship. So I want to just say, I want to leave you with this message before we get into the number 24 for my Pisces. Don't allow this season, this holiday season with Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving, as some people call it, to cause you to drag you back into something that 
has ended, something that's died, that's gone. Don't do that because right now you're reaping the benefits of all the good karma that you put out in the universe and you are very passionate about what you're doing right now and you're making some wonderful things happen in your life. And so, which is a great segue to the number 24 and the number two, uh, the number six. So two plus four is six. So the number 24 intensifies the number six. So what number 24 means is that once you realize how you can serve um, other people with passion and with joy, you can easily attract abundance and easily attract nurturing relationships into your life. Like I said, you can have two good people who are just not good for each other. You are on different frequencies. This person in this particular story right here had a lot of internal conflict. Again, this person could have um, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. Uh, where they may have been a little short tempered or they just seem like they just sometimes ghost you or whatever, whatever the situation was, Pisces. Nevertheless, you're better for it. You're thriving now. You're feeling so much better now that the relationship is over. And so the holiday season can certainly make you feel a little nostalgic thinking, maybe if I talk to that person or connect with that person on some level, the relationship is dead. Just let her stay there. A beautiful person has been reborn as a result and you have a new beginning. You're healing right now. So focus on your healing. Focus on, you know, moving forward into the light, meaning to yourself, the power that you've always had. Yes, that is what I have for you, um, Pisces. I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Again, let me just say one, leave you with one more message for the number 24. So 24 also means that you have a very magnetic and very powerful energy that impacts others. Always keep that in mind. So your energy, you have the power to balance your energies out. You really don't have to be in a situation where you just feel like, you know, you're losing a piece of yourself. Like that per that part of you has just died, a bunch of confusion, a bunch of miscommunication and stuff like that. You know, you have the power to live the life that you want to live, which is a fantastic life, right? Before showing compassion to other people, show yourself compassion. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Have a great day. Bye.